I'm gonna start uh, right in the front here. Excuse my moving the camera around for a moment. I'm gonna start right in front here. Um, put these sliders, uh, these two windows here, actually at first, um, I was gonna do one here and one in the rear and the one in the rear was too big, I didn't measure. <laughs> um, and actually I like these two being stacked. It just gives uh, more light in one section, um, reduced, you know, I wouldn't even be used in the back. Um, you'll see the way the back set up now. Um, but again, these are both sliding glass. I'll show you that in a moment here. Um, I did say I was in Aspen. Uh, that's Buttermilk Mountain. Um, skiing Highlands today. Beautiful, awesome, excellent powder day. Um, anyway, so we're coming in here. We got our step. Uh, usually I'll leave um, my wet boots here. Um, show you this stuff coming in. Um, what I have across here, I don't use it often, but this is for when I really want to lock out. Um, and I can throw a gun lock through here, and that allows me to stitch in through there and you know, really secure it. If we wanted to try to like smash my window and pull the bar, um, I can be able to do that without cutting the gun lock. This doubles. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, this doubles as um, a little bit of a chair thing here, and let me show you that real quick. So I can just set this up and do whatever. Kind of slides like that. That dude starting his car behind me here, so I'm going to try to stay out of his way. But yeah, that gives me my little table, and now I can kind of show that off. That's like that. I don't use it all that often. That's more so for probably summer weather um, as it is winter now. Um, and that's going to be for, you know, probably entertaining and such. Um, and maybe. But it's there. I had extra wood and I was like, oh, I'm going to do that. Um, so this I'll just stash somewhere else after the fact. I uh, have some hooks up here. Uh, built this divider. Originally I was going to buy one of the you know, steel bulkhead dividers. But. Um, Close this up for you. Uh, originally, I was going to buy one of those steer bulkhead dividers, um, but you know this turned out to be great. Offers me a little more R value insulation, and then of course I was able to do some shelving up there. Um, have some books and you know odds and ends, whatever. Um, have my fan on right now, just trying to get rid of some moisture. I used to have a lot of moisture in the CRV, at least on the windows in the morning, and I haven't really had much moisture since I've been in this. So I'm a little concerned as to where that might be collecting um maybe it's not i don't know uh, but uh what i do right now usually this would be my down when it was in the crv would be kind of like that gauge of um deciding you know that moisture level and now it doesn't really get heavy so it could be going i don't know it's not into the insulation because that's all foam up there um but it could be into some fabric or something like that so just ventilating and then for this um, after I'm done sleeping, I'll actually turn on the heating blanket, which I have on right now. Not that I was sleeping, I was just skiing all day. Um, but I'll turn on that heating blanket and that'll kind of um, heat things up and help to get rid of some of that moisture. Um, with my bed, because it is a Sprinter van, it's not, uh, you know, it's not the ProMaster that allows you to sleep side to side if you're average or tall. Um, but I can go corner to corner and if I have a partner in bed, um, then, you know, we can cuddle as well. And I'm often in the fetal position myself anyway, so um, Walmart, Kmart, whatever uh, you can get these awesome uh, closet hanger things um, and, and they worked out great. I just put a pole across the back there. Uh, let me brighten up the light here for you. Um, well, that's not helping. Um, but yeah, I put the pole across the back there um, and just hanging and I have a rope light along there as well. Um, I guess I could turn on real quick. Uh, the lights I have on right now are my LEDs, obviously a little more energy efficient. Um, but you know, I have these as well if I want them. And this is a little more like night um, kind of flow. Um, but yeah, those are incandescent, so better for the eyes and also um, draw more power. Um, but these, uh, these LEDs get pretty bright. Took my buddy's idea and was like, oh, he saw in a video that, you know, added insulation in this. A lot of the videos out there are talking about, uh, we put all these windows in and, you know, I, I was trying to like block it out all the time. Um, so anyway, I'm glad I don't have a ton of windows. The other window wouldn't have been able to see it back there anyway. Um, I have these windows here and 
they're great. Um, and I just block them off with this, gives me a little extra insulation, threw some grommets in my blanket and boom, you know, just bring that across there. One hooks right there, one hooks up there. You know, little mirror, that's all you need. Uh, bookshelf, another closet storage thing that I wound up kind of rigging here, you can see. Um, and then some shelves down through here. And uh, it's basically a lot of electronics, daily go-to stuff, um, chargers, headlamps, uh, yeah, put like a GoPro in there, some stickers, whatever. Underwear, socks, um, uh, that, uh, like headgear, um, warm headgear. Bicycle stuff, um, some hardware stuff uh, for maintenance inside, interior, um, screws, whatever else. I have two uh, um, gel, uh, what would they be, um, AGM batteries down in here, um, and 200 watts of solar on the roof, um, and a, I believe it's a 20 amp charge controller uh, from um, Renergy, it's the Rover. Um, I have my fuse box right there, and most everything is DC. This is how I operate my lights um, on a dimmer switch there. Um, you know, DC outlets, DC outlets. This one works on demand on the switch there. Um, next, my bag got a little shelf. Uh, didn't go too high on the wattage for um, uh, AC conversion on the inverter. Um, just because I don't need it and less less draw on those batteries. Um, DC is definitely much more efficient. Have a refrigerator here. Refrigerator isn't, isn't all that necessary in the winter, but it does keep things from getting too cold and freezing on the low nights. Um, and it gives me a little bit of a temperature gauge. So um, have my little freezer in there. A couple beers, some snacks. Um, those beers will be in there for a while. <laughs> um, got a lot of storage underneath here. I uh, can't see that super well. Maybe I'll get my headlamp out here and kind of brighten that up. Um, uh, the only pair of skis that don't fit in the back that I'll show you there in a minute are my um, 210 um, uh, traditional, uh, uh, what do you call cross-country skis there. Um, so like first aid stuff some, from disc golf, it's my climbing bin. Uh, I got a sled because it is winter. Some camping gear. Um, most of what I have underneath there though is like stuff that I don't need. Um, the stuff in front is what I'll use, like my ice climbing gear or whatever else more frequently. Um, but it's just there. Plus it's nice that I have that weight over the wheel well, uh, being rear wheel drive, you know, puts that down on those rear tires. Um, cool thing about all this space here is I can, um, you know, pull all these little hanger hooks down easily. And what I'll do sometimes from time to time with all the space that I have available here, um, I'll do some shipping. You know, I got a pretty big space here. It also allows me to stretch on this floor. The carpet is super helpful because it allows uh, things to not be so cold in the, in the night when I get up to go to the bathroom or whatever. Um, I don't have plumbing inside, not right now. So yeah, it's either a pee jug or out the door or I do have a little, I had a hole here actually. And there's a funnel right here and there's a pipe and the funnel goes down. I don't really use it though. It's kind of silly because you're just peeing a drug. I was uh, more of a joke than anything, but it's there. Um, have all my DVDs and music and whatever is a DVD player in the back, a little DC charger, uh, kitchen stuff. Took one of my old desks here. I'm not sure this door too. Um, have that little mechanism there. Um, more storage, you know. Um, and anyway, I took my, one of my old desks, or my old desk, I had this since I was a kid, and I was like, I want to incorporate that into my house. And uh, so there it is, incorporated into my house. Um, some drawers. These are so well weighted that I don't need any kind of latching. This is like all my toiletry stuff, uh, meds, what stuff you see in the bathroom, I guess. Um, like sunscreen, whatever else. Uh, I have some extra food. Um, there's a couple bottles of fuel back there and a stove. I don't really cook a whole lot. Usually just hot water stuff or buy something. Work offers me a lot of food too. A lot of extra stuff down here, stuff that I might need, extra chargers, extra locks, extra inflator pins. These are my uh, inside shoes. Um, been in here for uh, two weeks now, consistent in the winter. Been doing really good with moisture. Shoes come off here. Inside shoes go on here. 
all the snow gets brushed at the step, get it out. Um, works really well. Obviously all my shoe storage, climbing shoes, hiking shoes, running shoes. Uh, there's some Heelys down there too. If anybody wants a pair of Heelys, I don't really use those. Size 11 and a half, maybe a 12, I forget. Um, some extra food, um, snowshoes, my helmet. This is my rec helmet, my non-work or teaching helmet. This has got all my free ski emblem. People don't wear these out there. I think it's like a stat, uh, a thing, like only, I don't know. I love it. I'm like, yeah, I shred it everywhere and uh, I'm just taking a day at work or an off day from work and uh, enjoying the snow. Snow was so good today. So good. So good. Um, yeah, so that's that's the interior. Um, show you the other, the, a lot of people call them the gear um, I just want to show you up front here real quick. I'm just going to throw my shoes back on. Um, you know, this door open and closed there. Um, I did this with two sheets of plywood. You can see I messed up a little bit there on the spacing and just threw a little, you know, can hardly even tell. Um, but actually the cuts were unique and I think I did pretty darn well. Two inches of foam on the ceiling, two inches of foam on the walls. All of the, the, um, the lumber is into the steel. Uh, those are all load bearing, obviously. That's all load bearing. Um, also, that bed can come up and turn into a couch. I haven't done it yet because I don't need to. Um, but the other thing I was just going to show you was the other latch here. Did another latch, so I wanted to close this way and not have to lock that other side. I can do that. Um, and that's the up front. That's what it looks like over there. Close this up real quick. Um, yeah, so we're gonna leave this room, this part of the house. Oh, this, I haven't, um, I haven't closed this off yet, but this is all, I found this for free actually in the dumpster. It's uh, like soundproofing, but it worked really well and it works really well. And I really, I like it. Um, might seal it up, otherwise I don't really need to because I don't need to. This really gives you an idea of the space that I have in there. Um, there's a bunch and real quick uh, these are vent holes to pull when I have that fan on uh, to pull air through from the rear um, cut those in there right now they're blocked off you'll see just shove a little something in there um, but that's when I do want to pull air through for ventilation when it gets hot in the desert or whatever in the rear I have this going on got some ski storage those just go over uh, the top of your car if you've seen those um, ski racks and I just put them up sideways and they got awesome storage going on I've um, got a lot of space left back there too got a whole bunch of boots um, different ski boots for telemark or backcountry and then of course my new mountain bike um, not a bank breaker by any means um, but yeah that's pretty much it that's what we got going on here in the uh, summer I've been, or other warmer months, I've been storing two bikes. I could still store two bikes, but I don't need to because I don't really ride road right now. Um, but I will go down to the desert and ride the mountain a little bit. And that's it. Um, yeah, hope, uh, hope you liked the video. Take this off so you know what I look like with my hat off. Um, and anyway, yeah, hope you liked the video and uh, have a great day and um, send some more out there. Like I said, maybe weekly. We'll see what kind of uh, feedback I get. All right, thanks all. Uh, if you wanna see something, know something, put it in the comments. Um, yeah, and uh, that's that. Cheers.